All right, guys, today I'm going to share with you three beard products that come from the Clubman line. And um, they are the Pinot Beard Oil, the Beard Balm, and the 2-in-1 Beard Conditioner. Now, I've been trying them out for roughly a month off and on. My wife bought these for me. She saw them in a three-in-one box set at uh, Sally Beauty Supply when she went in there one day for something of her own and thought it would be nice to bring something back home for me like that because she knows I like to collect uh, beard oils and balms and whatnot and uh, then turn around and share them with you guys, uh, at least my thoughts and, and uh, review, reviews, criticisms of them. And um, so that's what I'm attempting to do today. The, when I first held these in my hand, opened them up, I, I, I didn't recognize, I didn't recognize Clubman beard oil, Pinot beard oil at all. I, I couldn't, but something about it began to ring a bell with me. And uh, when I looked them up online, it finally dawned on me that where I've seen Clubman before is in barbershops. Growing up, you've seen them, you, you don't think about them, but you see them sitting on the uh, the barber shelf because you're just staring straight ahead. And, he, you know, they have styptic pencils, aftershaves, colognes, um, all sorts of talcs, things like that. And apparently what threw me off was the, the, na the name Pinot. All right. You see it right there. And that's what threw me off. I, I just, if you take that out of it, I might've seen it quicker, but where that comes from is Ed Pinot, this, this, company's apparently been around since 1810 it's right on the packaging and uh out of, it's come, it comes out of paris and i uh, back in 1971 american international industries bought them uh bought this line and so my guess is that the ingredients going into each one of these has probably drastically changed i don't know what they carried in the way of beard balms oils back in the early 1800s i've never really thought about it before but if you look at some of the pictures of uh, men back in the 1800s, either, either they have really terrible beards or some of them have magnificent ones. Uh, I like presidential beards. I think Rutherford B. Hayes and James Garfield had the nicest beards. You should look at pictures of them. In fact, I made a video about um, um, bearded facts about U.S. presidents you should watch. It's pretty interesting. So anyway, let me talk about this product. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right up front, I'm a little ambivalent about it. Um, they don't cost a lot. In fact, each one of these, each one of these products cost roughly $8.95 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I tried them out, and I was a little surprised. I've never experienced um, anything quite like these to this degree. Here's what I mean by that. First of all, I had never tried a leave-in conditioner before at all. I've always wanted to, wanted to try one on my beard. And so um, I don't really have anything to compare the conditioner to as far as leave-in conditioner goes. Uh, it's meant This two-in-one beard conditioner is meant to hydrate your beard and moisturize your face. And uh, as far as I can tell, not bad. I mean, it's... I mean, I'm just going to put a little bit in my beard. I haven't put anything in my beard this morning at all. And so you're seeing this go in first thing this morning. And uh, not real greasy or oily or anything like that. And uh, just going to stick it in there. Rub it around a little bit. Okay, so then, you know, you comb it out. You comb it out. Leave it in there. And typically, when I'm putting in products in my beard in the morning, I have a greater time lapse in which I do these things than how I'm doing it now. I'm doing it for the sake of the video. I'm putting, the, I'm putting in my beard you know, closer together in time than what I would if I was doing it in the morning. But um, you know, if I was to leave that in there for a while, I don't, I don't know really how to compare the conditioner. There are people who make videos that probably know more about that. Uh, so moving on to the the beard oil, this is where it gets a little weird for me, to be quite honest with you. Now, the ingredients in most of these, I'm going to be, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. The <sighs> They start off with water. It's the first ingredient in, uh, in like the, the beard conditioner. All right. 
then it has like seed oil and other kind of extracts, but then a lot of words I can't pronounce, which for some people that's a turnoff. You know, they don't, if they don't know what they are, they don't know what's going in, but you know, how do they, is it, is it organic? Is it inorganic? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, some of it may be, it's a blend probably. The beard oil is not any different. I looked at it. There's like nine, I think nine ingredients that go into the beard oil. And there's like three of them that say seed oil. One of them's like macadamia seed oil, whatever that is. Um, there's a few other ones. And so here's the, here's, here's where I get a little iffy on this oil. This oil is so thick. It's the thickest oil I've ever seen. I mean, hands down. I've, I've tried some other ones. Olivina. Olivina seems a little thick to me. And you, you can find that at Target. It's a nice smelling beard oil. A little too thick for me. But this is even thicker. And uh, I've watched a couple of other videos, uh, reviews on, on this beard oil. And they've said the same thing. This stuff is so thick. Let me show you. Let me show you. First of all, this is kind of, this is kind of big. But look how this comes out. I mean, it's almost like someone else in another video compared it to glue. And they're right. I mean, it's almost, I would just say it's almost like rubber cement. But where this gets weird uh, is that when you rub it around your hands, it, it is really smooth. It doesn't feel thick like I would, like I mentioned the olivine, it doesn't feel thick like that. I, I don't know. It's a little on the greasy side. But uh, it doesn't feel as thick once you start rubbing around. I probably put a little too much in my in my palm, to be quite honest with you. But I'll just rub the rest of it on my arm. So anyway, there's that. Doesn't feel too bad. I mean, it feels pretty smooth in the beard. So I did. I was very turned off by how thick it was, but I'm not as turned off by the way it feels in my beard. But, um, so I don't really know how to feel about that. I would say based on the thickness it comes out with, the heaviness, I don't really like it that much. So I'll go ahead and comb that back out. And I will tell you that when I walk away and the beard oil has time to sit, it doesn't look or feel as hydrated as some oil, other, other quality oils have uh, left my beard. It does leave it feeling kind of soft, uh, but not soft in the way that others do. I mean, it's not, I can, I can honestly tell you it's not a replacement. And I'm sure that a large part of that has to do with all the, um, all the obscure ingredients that go into this. And um, I, I can honestly tell you, I don't, I don't feel too, great about that either but let's move on to the beard balm the beard balm is where i don't know what to tell you look how thick this stuff looks it's you know most beard balms have more of the uh, beeswax oily uh, type of um texture to it if you're used to using beard balms you know what i'm talking about this is more pasty and so i'm just going to use a little bit because my beard's cut much shorter just use a little that's probably even too much right there let me take a little bit of that off all right, so I took a little bit off. I'm gonna rub that down. And when you know you take most beard oils, and you put it in your palm, and you you rub it out, it's uh, it breaks down pretty well. But this stuff, it, you can't see it in the video too well. But when you first put it on, it has its streaks kind of white. It's thick. It's pretty thick. I mean, it's almost not like balm. It's almost like um, you see, I don't have hair on my head, but it's almost like some of those other men's products you pick up for your hair. I don't know if that's pomade. Pomade is, is a little more gel looking, like gel like in appearance. But I don't know what I don't know what you'd call this. I had a bamboo fiber wax that was similar to this. And I actually like that better than I do this. Now, what I will tell you is if you're using balm for hold, this is great. This is really great. And, and so it does do a good job of that, of that, but it do, like I said, it doesn't really leave your beard feeling, 
It doesn't give it that that real that look of health and vitality that you do with other beard oils and balms. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, when you see another guy's beard that you know, he's, he takes good care of, he puts nice stuff in it, you can tell. You can tell. You, it looks soft. It has a nice sheen to it. And um, it just looks really healthy. You can't really, you can't really mistake it. You know, you see it. You don't get that with this. Another thing I want to mention is that you don't really smell too much of anything. There's not much of a fragrance to this. But once you've had it on for a while, you, you're, you're a couple hours out and um, you begin to smell it in your beard. It doesn't smell too bad. So it doesn't smell too bad. It performs a little bit better than I thought it would when I first apply it, when I first put the oil in my palm, when I first put the beard in my, I mean, when I first put the balm in my beard. It performs better than what you think. But here's the problem it doesn't leave it looking as healthy and the ingredients are a little sketchy. Uh, there's no, there seems to be no fragrance when you first put it on, but there is afterwards and it's not bad. I will say if you have bought this product, it's not a total loss. I wouldn't use it every day, maybe once a week. And, um, and uh, as far as if I, if I was going to give this uh, up to a five star rating, I'd say maybe one and a half. And the reason why is I wouldn't buy it again because there's such a multitudinous array of beard products out there that you can get other than this. And um, I just wouldn't spend the money. Like I said, they're about $8.95 a piece, and I don't know what they are in a box set. You can buy these at Sally Beauty Supply, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, a lot of places like that. They carry. They, I'm noticing them more now than I did before. But the, the uh, Club and Beard Oil, the Beard Balm, and the 2-in-1 Beard Conditioner, performance-wise, not too bad, but not the best. And I wouldn't even say it's in the middle. Um, smells okay once you put it, once you have it on for a while. It doesn't smell bad at all, but the ingredients are kind of sketchy. I'd say stick with something else. Um, so there you have it. I would say other things about the company that that made this. They're out of California, but um, you can go look at look at it yourself. It's American International Industries, and uh, they acquired this I think like 35 years ago, and I'm guessing they. They change everything quite a bit. You're not getting what you, they originally produced, I'm sure. Those are my thoughts on it. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out my other video that I talked about here um, about bearded presidents. And uh, fun facts about U.S. bearded presidents. That's what it is, I think. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.